In this video, I will teach you how to manually enter task progress in your Microsoft Project schedules. In Microsoft Project, there are many ways to enter task progress, but there is one method I recommend that is simple and straightforward. I'm going to teach you that method in this video, so let's get started. There are many ways to enter task progress in Microsoft Project. And there are many columns in which you can enter task progress. So how do you know which columns to use and how to do it? In this video, I will show you my recommended best practice method for entering task progress in Microsoft Project. I think you will find that the method I recommend is both simple and direct and that it will give you the best results for generating a reliable forecast for your future project schedule. I recommend that you set up Microsoft Project for task progress using the following method. First, display the Tracking Gantt view in your project, and then apply the Tracking table in that view. In the tracking table, insert and rearrange existing columns into the following order. Start, actual start, percent complete, remaining duration, actual finish, finish, and resource names. Then enter task progress in the tracking table on a weekly or bi weekly basis using the following process. Enter the date the team member actually began work on the task in the actual start field. Enter the team member's estimated progress as a percentage in the percent complete field. Enter the team member's estimated time to completion or ETC in the remaining duration field. And finally, enter the date the team member actually finished the task in the actual finish field. If you need to provide any additional documentation about the task update, add a note to the task. For completed milestones, on the other hand, you don't need to do the previous five steps. All you need to do is enter a 100% complete value in the percent complete column for each completed milestone. Now let me give you a few tips for entering task progress in Microsoft Project using the methodology I recommend to you. First of all, only enter a 100% complete value in the percent complete field if the task actually started and finished as currently scheduled. Otherwise, you should always enter an actual finish date for the task which will trigger Microsoft Project to calculate a 100% value in the percent complete field for the task. Also keep in mind that adjusting the remaining duration value will recalculate the percent complete value for an in-progress task. Here's how it works. If you increase the remaining duration value, Microsoft Project will decrease the percent complete value. And if you decrease the remaining duration value, Microsoft Project will increase the percent complete value. This is because of how Microsoft Project calculates percent complete as a percent of the duration completed on the task. So let's go ahead and take a look now 
to see how to enter task progress in Microsoft Project. Today is Monday, June the 10th, as indicated by the green grid line in the Gantt chart screen. I'm ready to enter task progress for last week, which is the week of June the 2nd. Let me show you how to set up Microsoft Project for entering task progress. Click the Gantt chart pick list button and choose the Tracking Gantt view. In this view, right-click on the Select All button and choose the default Tracking Table. Widen the Task Name column as needed, then drag your split bar over past the right edge of the Add New Column Virtual Column. Right-click on the Actual Start column header and choose Insert Column on the shortcut menu. In the list of available fields, choose the Start field. Then, click one time on the Percent Complete column header to select that column, let go of your mouse click, then click and hold the column header to grab it, and drag it over to the left and drop it to the immediate right of the actual start field. Widen that column as needed. Click the remaining duration column header one time, then release the mouse button, then click and hold to grab that column, drag it over to the left and drop it to the immediate right of the percent complete column. Widen that column as needed. Right mouse click on the Physical Percent Complete column header and choose Insert Column. In the shortcut menu, choose the Finish column. Right click one more time on Physical Percent Complete, choose Insert Column, and this time select the Resource Names field. Widen that field as needed. Then drag your split bar back to the right edge of the Finish column. If you are like me, you probably want the Start and Finish values to be right aligned, not left aligned. Here's how to do that. Right-click on the Start column header and choose the Field Settings item on the shortcut menu. In the Field Settings dialog, click the Align Data Pick List and choose the value called Right and click the OK button. Right-click on the Finish column header, choose Field Settings, and again click Align Data, choose the right value, and click the OK button. That's how to set up this custom tracking table for entering task progress in Microsoft Project. After customizing the tracking table, you probably don't want to go to all that work again for every project that you manage. Let me show you the trick to make it available in every project you manage from this point forward. Here's what you do. Click the File tab to display the Backstage. In the Backstage, click the Info tab. On the Info page, click the Organizer button. In the Organizer dialog, click the Tables tab. On the right side of the Organizer dialog, select the Tracking Table. That's the tracking table that I just customized. Click the Copy button. In the Confirmation dialog, 
click the Yes button. That will copy the customized tracking table into the global.mpt file, which will make it available to every project that you manage from this point forward. Click the Close button when finished, and then press the Escape key to exit from the backstage. Now let's begin entering task progress in this project schedule. For the task Order Store Signage from Marketing, this task did begin on June the 3rd as originally planned and did actually finish on June the 3rd. Therefore, I can simply enter a 100% complete value in the percent complete field for this task. For the task create store signage, this task did begin on June the 4th as scheduled, but it did not finish on June the 5th, so I need to put in its actual finish date. The actual finish date was June the 7th. Notice that Microsoft Project does calculate a 100% complete value in the percent complete column. Also notice that the Gantt bar is now lengthened in the Gantt chart screen in response. I think I need to add a note to this task to explain what happened. So I'll go ahead and double click the task and I'll go to the Notes tab. On the Notes page, I'll go ahead and click the Bulleted List button, and I'll enter the text of the note. Marketing team took four days to print the store signage because of a staff shortage due to the COVID outbreak in the team. Oh no, that's not good. When I click OK, there we've recorded the additional documentation. The Store Signage Receive task is a milestone, so I can simply mark it as 100% complete. By the way, in the Task Ribbon Schedule section, you will find a few little buttons there that will allow you to quickly enter percent complete values I'll just click the 100% button, and there, that marks it as completed. That's a trick you might want to use. For the final task, Pack Merchandise in Warehouse, they did finish the task as originally scheduled. So I'll go ahead and put in a 100% complete value. However, the team learned after finishing the task that there's two additional days of work that needs to be done. They have to pack additional merchandise and equipment for a store kiosk that'll be located at the far end of the mall. It's going to be a self-service automated store kiosk. So even though they thought they were done, there's two days of work left to be done. So I'll increase the remaining duration to two days. Watch what happens to the percent complete value when I press the Enter key. Notice it just dropped to 71%. The task was originally done when the duration was only five days. But now with two additional days of duration, the work isn't 100% done, it's only 71% done. So that is how to enter task progress in Microsoft Project using the methodology that I recommend. Well, now you know how to manually enter task progress in your Microsoft Project schedules. I sure hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe. 
And if you have a question or comment, please leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.